guys so love is a beautiful thing yeah like love is so sweet being in love with the right person is amazing yes am i right i know i'm right i know you agree with me that love is a beautiful thing well yeah yeah marriage is amazing marriage is beautiful but then there are several important things we need to know about marriage yeah or before marriage I know most of us know about the genotype issue where you need to know your genotype and that of your spouse and to see if you guys are compatible before you know marriage so you won't have children with sickle cell and I must say this is very very important but in today's video I'm going to be saying something different something that people don't really say well this thing actually deals with pregnancy yes it deals with pregnancy that means this um, this is very important if you are ready to have your own children like if you guys are ready to hook up and have your own children yes so but first I have a beautiful story to tell you so I want you to sit down relax and listen to this beautiful story of mine or should I go like story 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 guys welcome back to a healthier life with Henny yes and in here I give practical tips to help you live a healthy and happy life so if you're just watching me for the first time well I'm happy to see you uh-huh you're welcome to my channel do not forget to hit the like button yes 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 the like button below this video and also the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get to see me each and every time I post a new video yeah so to my story so Frank and Rose got married about five years ago and after having their first baby they've been finding it difficult to have another child you know they've tried several times rose got pregnant a number of times and she experiences miscarriages there's been pressures all over you know pressure from here from here from the man's side from the woman's side to get another child but then they've been trying and this woman has been having miscarriage so they decided to change location and they moved to another city and there a person advised them to visit a consultant and on getting to the hospital the doctor advised them to do a blood group test. and this test revealed that the couple's blood group was not compatible yes. Frank was A positive and um, Rose was B negative and that was where the problem was and since they found out the problem the solution was provided and so not quite long she gave birth and she had a child now now my question is do you know your blood group? So it's very important to know that blood group is actually different from genotype. Yes, we have been to the lab or the hospital to do a blood test before. Um, the blood group is that um, that letter. Is that letter they usually write and then they put a sign by the side. Maybe if it's A positive or A negative or B positive or B negative, something like that. Well, we have four major types of blood group and that is the blood group A, b the a b and the o alongside this blood group there is something called the result factor that they write there and that is what is written as either the positive or negative now it's really essential for us to get the real meaning of that positive or that negative sign that i called the resource factor is not the fact that if you are positive then maybe your blood is good you know than the person that is negative I know some people who think that if their own is positive it means that their own blood is better you know than a person that is negative or they mean that if it's positive they can give to anybody or you know different type of misinterpretations this is called the resource factor now what really is the importance of this resource factor this resource factor is an inherited protein it means you can inherit it from your parents that means it is determined by your parents and the most common type is the resource positive yes the resource positive is actually more common here than the resource negative now it is also very important to know that either being resource positive and negative it does not affect your health what it could affect is pregnancy yes is pregnancy now when is the resource factor um very significant now if a woman is positive and the man is resource positive too there is no problem you know you can go ahead other things be equal 
you are good to go you're good to have your children and there is no problem if the woman is negative and the man also is negative there is also no problem if the woman is positive and the man is negative there is also no problem so the resource factor can be a concern if the biological uh, mother is resource negative that means she does not have the protein in her blood negative means you do not have the protein in your blood positive means that you have the protein in your blood so so it can be a concern if the woman is resource negative and the man is resource positive that means the man has the protein in his blood that that is when we are actually concerned so if they have sex and the woman gets pregnant it is most likely the baby in her womb is carrying the resource factor of the husband of the man yes the, the child that is most likely taken after the father's resource factor yes that means the child the baby in the womb is most likely going to be resource positive resource positive why the mother that is carrying the child is you know resource negative and that is where the issue comes up mother's body the mother's system will be like oh there's something strange in my system yes i did not have this protein before but then the child is having the protein okay so the body will be like this is something strange let me fight against something coming in you know this is a foreign substance let me wipe it up and clean it off i do not want this thing in my system it's going to harm me yes so this is going to trigger an immune response in the woman's body making the woman to create antibodies antibodies are like soldiers you know going to fight or anything that is not wanted in the body so the mother's body might start attacking the baby's resource positive blood cells and start destroying them because you know we've seen it as a foreign matter a foreign object in the system so usually the antibodies will not cause problem to the baby having this resource positive um, during the first pregnancy that means the first time you're getting pregnant with a baby with um, the resource positive there's usually no problem you know during the first pregnancy but subsequent pregnancies there can be problems so during this time the mother's antibodies are not really fully developed to you know to destroy or terminate this baby you know that is why they are usually saved during the first pregnancy although the mother's blood and the baby's blood typically do not mix during pregnancy a minimal amount of the mother's blood and the baby's blood can come in contact during delivery you know when there is water and the blood and everything and the blood comes in contact after the first delivery the antibodies in the mommy and the mother's body are fully developed ready to you know pull off and destroy any sign of foreign substance like the resource positive blood cell you know trying to fight it and this could lead to several several issues if a second pregnancy occurs again well the baby might require a red blood cell transfusion either during the pregnancy or immediately after delivery so pregnant woman can also be exposed to the resource protein that would cause antibiotics body production in the body in some other ways too and this include miscarriage or ectopic pregnancy An ectopic pregnancy occurs where the um, fertilized egg usually do not grow in the woman's uterus it grows in another place entirely you know the uterus is a normal place where the fertilized egg is meant to develop so when the fertilized egg is not developed there that's what is called an ectopic pregnancy most ectopic pregnancy occurs in the fallopian tube and when the fertilized egg grows and develop this tube can expand and burst this rupture can lead to internal bleeding and all of that complicating the issue so during the first pregnancy at the prenatal um, clinic the doctor can you know do a blood test screening for you and if you're found to be resource negative yes and um, they have to conduct a test another test for you again to find out if you're developing the antibodies of the resource positive antibodies then that's going to tell them that your baby that you're carrying is actually resource positive so they are going to monitor the person the woman very closely you know give her extra care attention but the thing is that this resource incompatibility can actually be treated yes so how can it be treated the doctor will most likely recommend a resource immune globulin in the seventh month of pregnancy 
and then again within 72 hours after delivery the baby's blood type is confirmed to be resource positive after delivery so the resource immune globulin given to the mother will make the woman's body not to react to the resource positive cells of the baby. if it is a foreign substance a woman can also get this drug if she has a miscarriage or any bleeding during pregnancy so knowing yourself and your partner blood group compatibility is very very important either you're married already or you're planning to walk down the high. Do not treat this with levity. So that will be all for today. Thank you for watching my video. Do not forget to hit the like button again and share this video to your loved ones, to whoever you think will really need this video. It's really going a long way. Stay healthy and stay happy. See you soon.